What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. So guys, this week we have 1.5 times money and RP on the payphone hits and the payphone hits are actually one of my favorite missions in the game. So I thought today I'm gonna make a video on the hardest payphone hits to complete in the game. So I'm gonna show you guys four payphone hits that I think are the most difficult. I'm gonna show you guys of course how to complete them as well. I will also make chapters for this video so you guys can skip to a payphone hit if you're searching for a particular one. And if you guys have any other payphone hit that I didn't mention today that you are struggling with, just leave it in the comments and then I can also make a guide about this. So the first payphone hit that I think is difficult and I have noticed that a lot of people struggle with is the CEO one where you have to use a scope rifle to take out the target with a cargo container. On the first video that I made about this, I noticed that a lot of people dislike this payphone hit. They failed it a lot and you guys know that if you fail a payphone hit, if you don't do the assassination bonus, the payment is much less. So the CEO payphone hits, they have multiple locations but they will always be on a construction site. And for the container version, you first have to search for this container over here. So there will be one container that is floating in the air. It's basically a machine holding it and right above the container you can see that there is a small box with a red arrow pointing at it. And what you have to do is basically shoot this box at the moment that the target is walking under the container. So when you do that it will look like this, assassination bonus completed and it's actually very simple if you know how to do it. Now sometimes the target stops under the container, this will make it much easier. But sometimes he doesn't stop, so then your timing really has to be good. So make sure that you have a good angle, make sure that you have a good aim on the box as well, and then normally it should be fine. The second payphone hit that I think is very difficult is again the CEO, this time with the bulldozer. And to be honest, I think this is the most difficult payphone hit, and the most amount of people struggle with this one. So again, you will be on a construction site, the target will be walking around, he has a red arrow above him, you can also see him on the map. And for this one, you have to look for a bulldozer on the site that has a driver in it. So there won't be just one bulldozer on the construction site, there will be multiple, but there will be one with a driver. If you have a thermal scope, you can spot it pretty easy, but make sure that you have the right bulldozer, because if you don't have the one with the driver, you cannot complete it. So what you have to do is wait until the target is in front of the bulldozer. When he stands in front of it, shoot the driver, then the bulldozer will start to move and it will basically kill the target. Now again the same with the container, sometimes the target stops and this makes it easier of course, but sometimes I have seen cases that he doesn't stop and then your timing really has to be good. So make sure that you have a good angle on the bulldozer so that you can really see if the target is in front of it or not. And make sure that your aim is good because if you miss once or twice, everyone will get alerted and then it's impossible to complete the mission with the assassination bonus. The third payphone hit that I think is pretty difficult is the judge payphone hit where you have to take out the judge with a remote bomb at the golf course. So first of all, go to the golf courts, go in the yellow circle, then you will get a outfit and a club. And when you are inside, you first have to collect the golfing equipment, which is basically marked on the map as a white backpack. Now for this mission, you have to collect the golfing equipment because inside of the backpack, there is the remote bomb. And this is the only remote bomb that you can use. So you cannot use a sticky bomb or anything else. You have to collect the golfing equipment. After you have it, one tip, make sure that the golf club is equipped. Because if your golf club is not equipped, you cannot plant the remote bomb and then it won't work. So keep that in mind. Then go ahead and go to the target and basically try to figure out at which hole he's golfing. So what you have to do is just look in which direction the target is hitting the ball and then it will be kind of clear where he's going. So then just go to the hole plant the bomb by pressing right on d-pad. Keep in mind the golf club has to be equipped to do this. After this you will have detonate bomb as a contact. Just wait until the target is near the hole, call the contact, the bomb will explode and assassination bonus is completed. 
Now, in the assassination bonus, you guys will also notice that it always says, for example, kill the target at the first hole, second hole, sixth hole in this case. This is just the hole that the target is playing at when you arrive at the golf court. So the moment that you arrive at the golf court, the target will be playing on the hole where you have to kill him. So this means that you kind of have to move fast, but normally you always have some time. So don't worry about this. Just make sure that the golf club is equipped when you plant the bomb. The last payphone hit that I also think is pretty tricky, not as difficult as the first three to be honest, is the co-founder. So the co-founder is always staying at a hotel or a motel and on the parking lot you will see this car. So the car has a guitar in the back, you will recognize it immediately. And in this version that I'm doing over here, you basically have to wait until the target checks out and then you have to blow up the engine of his car by shooting it while the target is in sight. Now the tricky thing with the co-founder payphone hits is that you always have to wait until the target checks out and of course you have to know which car is his. Now in this version you just have to wait, shoot the engine, the car will explode and then that's it. In another version of the co-founder you again have to wait until the co-founder is in the car and then you have to put the car on fire. So what you can do for this is just use a jerry can before the target gets inside, pour some fuel all over the car and then when he is inside just shoot the car and then it will catch fire. And then in the last version of the co-founder you have to take the car to LS Customs before the target checks out, put a remote bomb on it, return it to the same place and then when the target gets inside call your phone, call detonate bomb and then the car will explode. So guys that's basically it, if there is any other payphone hit that you guys need help with Make sure to comment, make sure to like, subscribe, check out the Discord in the description and peace out you guys.